Hello, this is Dana Geyer, Director of Shows. I would like to show you some features under the Events and Shows tab of our website. First, we need to log in. In the upper right hand corner, you will find an area for your email and password. Please enter those and then click Log In. Now I'm logged in. It says, Welcome Dana Geyer, and my APS number. I can go about and do whatever I'd like to do. First, I'll run you across the top of our website. We have several tabs, stamp collecting, about APS, membership, services, shop, events and shows, and support the hobby. We're going to go under events and shows, the second line down, APS sponsored events. From here, you see a listing of our sponsored events, APS stamp show, Amer Stamp Expo, Postal History Symposium, the Educational Events, 2014 Stamp Cruise, and Volunteer Work Week. <clears throat> if we move to the top of the page and look to our left, we'll start by reviewing Stamp Show. Here, it comes to the front page of Stamp Show, it gives you the date of the show, August 8th through 11th. It tells you where we're going to be at the Delta Center, the hours of the event, and that there's free admission. You can click here to pre-register. You can click here to go to the hotel location, which is also listed over here on the left-hand side, and reserve your hotel room if you'd like as well. Here, <clears throat> you can actually pre-register the next tab down. You enter your name, email address, and such here. You click your different options, how many people in the APS. If you're an APS member, you click here. Would you like to help and volunteer at the show? You click yes or no. I'd prefer yes, of course. <clears throat> Where you'll be staying, how you're getting to the show, how you heard about the show, and how many days you'll attend. And then you hit submit. After you hit submit, it will tell you you have successfully registered for the show. The next tab is function tickets. <clears throat> If you'd like to attend one of our functions, such as the Tiffany dinner, shows the dates, it's at the Hyatt Regency, the cost, and you have a $50 deductible donation, shows what the meal will be. The awards banquet as well, the same. Over here on the right hand side, you can add one person, two people, however many you'd like. So we will go to the Tiffany dinner, We will pick the walleye. That's my selection. I can view my cart. So far in here, I have one total item. I do not wish to check out, so I'm going to go back and shop if I'd like or continue under my shows tab. I think I'll go this direction and I'll go back here. So I've now gone to my show's location. I've ordered a function ticket that I'm holding in case I want to do some other shopping. Now I'm going to check out what dealers will be at the show. We continually update the dealer listing, so if people are adding, you can see that. And we have a date right here that shows you that. They're in alphabetical order. You can see the dealers, their specialties. And what's nice about this is if they have a website, Here's one. <clears throat> you can go to their website and see that. So several of our dealers have websites listed. Boilermakers one. Again, their website pops up. Very handy. So if you'd like to search some, some dealers and prepare in advance for what you might need or contact them, you can do that through their website as well. And again, they're in alphabetical order. So if we go to the top of the page again, dealers can also look under the booth reservation form and, and retrieve that if they'd like to register for a booth. And here you see myself and Barb Johnson if you have any questions. And they can register booth space. They can also advertise as well. And they will work with Helen 
and this is how you contact Helen on the right hand side of the page. Back to the left, we can also look under our exhibitors. Currently we are still accepting applications for exhibits, so what you'll find here is the entry form and the prospectus for exhibits, for philatelic, and for literature. In the next few weeks, you will start to see an image down here that actually shows you exhibitors and titles, and then that will move into exhibitors information with their frame number as well. This is an ongoing process. You can check back here in a few weeks and see this information for the exhibitors. We also have first day ceremonies at the show. We currently have two first day ceremonies listed for the show. You can get a larger image by clicking here to see them a little better. And you can also do that with the other first day ceremony on August 9th for the envelope. If you move over to the left again, you will see hotels and travel. So there are two ways to get to hotels and travel. One is by the tab on the left here. You see the Hyatt Regency. The room rate is 139 plus tax. You can make your reservations by clicking here or phoning. They have a great shuttle service. Round trip is $27, or one way, however you would like to do, and you call in advance. And when you get to the airport, you go to the go right counter and let them know you're there, and they will take you to the hotel. Throughout town, there's also the trolley, the Milwaukee trolley. It offers 20-minute headways. The trolley is a great connector, and it, you can just jot out. It goes you know, through town, so you can get to restaurants and things like that, or do shopping in town. Now another way you can get to the hotel and travel, if you remember, is under, I believe, here. If you click here on the front page, Hotel Reservations Early, it will take you to that page as well. So there are a couple different ways to tool around in here. You can also click on the Milwaukee trolley to get the information in the loop. Under Hotels and Travels, we have societies and clubs. We have several societies and clubs that are going to be attending the show. You can learn more about the clubs that plan to participate here by clicking there. See if we have any information updated there right now. It takes you to the affiliate chapter page, group participation. You can actually pull up forms to print off and um, request seminars if you'd like to do those, and booth space as well. So we're going to use the left hand tab arrow back button and go back one. This will show you currently all the societies that we have attending the show. There's a long list. You can get to them with their website, which is nice. You can actually, well, that website has a problem. So I will note that. Let's see if we can get to another one. How about the United States Stamp Society? Click on there and goes right to their website. That's what we like to see. The International Show in 2016, that's popular. Gives you information on there, and you can click through there as you go through. It allows you to click through. From here, we'll go back up to the left, and you can do society advertising as well, and group participation as I showed you when we went to the other tab. So society advertising will take you to Helen in our editorial department, and she has the advertising rates listed here as well, which is nice. You can contact her directly by calling in. Her number is here, and her number is up here on the right-hand side as well. And again, group participation, if you'd like to be a society to participate, either doing a seminar or having a booth at the show or both, you can click here and fill out the form. Very easy form, straight forward, two-sided, and send that in. If you're worried about having enough booth workers at your booth, 
you can possibly share a booth with another society and that'll help both of you out. Then you'll be able to attend seminars and such. Moving on, we also, we were at the meeting and seminar tab here. There's another way to get to meetings and seminars. You can click on individual seminars and participating societies as well. So there are a few different ways to get around in the shows section of the website for different things. Beginner and youth. This is an area that talks, of course, about beginners and youth, the affiliate chapter page, affiliate chapter booth, I'm sorry. And here you also see you can sign up for Stamp Collecting 101 given by our education department. It's the adult beginner program. It's very inexpensive at $15. And non-members are 20. You can register online again. You can also see that for the beginners, we have dime dollar booths at the show. So we have several dime dollar booths that um, people can find things for a dollar or a dime. We give exhibit tours as well so that people can understand a little more about the exhibiting process and, and what that's all about. Here you see our A-frames, photo of those. We have a large youth area that does several things. If you would like to plan a field trip, you see here that the APS will offer to help defer the cost of uh, the bus transportation to get your groups to the show of 15 or more, which I think is fabulous. And of course, we offer the uh, Boy Scout uh, stamp collecting merit badge. And these are the days we offer them and the times. And Janet Hauser teaches that class. If you have any questions, you can contact her by clicking here. Let's see how this works. Then you can email Janet Hauser and she will send you back a response. So a lot of that. Here on the left hand side again, you can click to volunteer. We love volunteers at the show. You can volunteer as little as two hours, as many as eight, 10, 16 hours. We have people that just come to the shows to help us volunteer, and then they get a little shopping in, of course. Here, this talks about what you can do at the show. It gives you a description of each duty at the show. In the registration area, we need two to six people. It tells you what you'll be doing here, handing out programs, pre-registration packets, where you would receive your badge. These are the days and times we need people that would work, and it tells you how many people would work. As you can see, we have several different areas of volunteering. The more the merrier, I say. We probably use approximately 500 hours of volunteer time during the show, and we start on Mondays, actually. Some people that come start on Mondays for us which is prior to the Wednesday to help us set the actual show floor up. So these are different things you can do and you can contact Barb Johnson for that in the shows department and click here and fill out the volunteer form. And again, this will give you the form that you can fill out, what days you would be available, where you would like to volunteer, and any other comments. For instance, if you are coming in early, you could help us cancel the show caches, you could help us set up the booth spaces, set up registration, the youth area, things like that. And you can add that information in here as well. You can enter the amount of hours you'd like to work while you're at the show and parking reimbursement and such and hit submit. That's the volunteer area. So now under area attractions, we always like people to have fun at the stamp show. But in the evenings for dinner and sightseeing and things like that, or if a spouse or significant other is along, it's great. They can get out and tool around while, while you may be shopping for stamps and covers. They can go out and do some sightseeing. And we have all those items listed here. Of course, we have the trolley information, and you can click on that, and it can show them where they can get around town. We have historic walks and things, museums. Of course, there's always shopping. These are just some of the highlighted areas where you can go to. And it'll take you directly to their website when you click here with the underlined links. We have a separate area again for advertising for booth holders and clubs and societies. Here, if you click on this, this will take you back to the page I showed you previously with Helen. Her information is here on the right-hand side. And it shows her advertising rates. 
we will go over here to the left and click backwards one and we will show you then as well clubs and societies again. And as I said there are several ways to access the same thing on our site which I think is very helpful depending on where you're where you're at and what you're trying to accomplish. We also here have past stamp shows listed Anybody that's interested in seeing where our past conventions are for Stamp Show, they date back to 1886, and the first show was in New York City, and they proceed all the way through to 2012, our 126th Stamp Show was in Sacramento, California. And the last time we were in Milwaukee was... Our 111th show in 1997. So that's a bit of information if you're looking for some history on the APS stamp shows. Here you can also on the left hand side look for souvenir cards and things. We have all our items listed here. As you can see we continually update so we have four pages currently. You can actually select by different areas. You can select by year or date, we currently have 2011 through 2013 up. We have caches, souvenir cards, first day covers, show programs, stamp issue, stamps issued at the show, and we can view everything. So let's first start here. As you can see, this was the show uh, first day cache, cache cover at the show. We can zoom in on that. This design was done by Chris Cowley. These were the stamps. It was the 44 cents celebration stamp. And because it wasn't up to count, we had to add the two cent for the first day of issue. You can add those to your card if you'd like. I won't add that one. I think I'll add a show program. Let me look at this one and see if I like this. Yep, there's our show program. So I think I will add a show program and I'll continue shopping. And you work through this and as I said there are several pages of these. So if we go to the next page you can also scroll all the way down for 2011. It's a very long list. You can move on to the next page which is still 2011 and then we start 2012 in this page. The other way you can look at these is I can go straight to 2012 or 2013. Let's go to 2013. We entered that. Let me push go. You quickly move to 2013. As you see, we currently don't have, we have a Mara Stamp Expo listed, but we don't currently have anything for Stamp Show because of course Stamp Show has not happened. So what you'll find here are items for a Mara Stamp Expo from 2013. So I could add one of those to my, actually, yes, we'll do that. You can go here and you can just pull out first day covers and push go. So if it's handy, if you're only looking for first day covers, it will only pull those up for the shows, which is very nice. Again. If you're looking for souvenir cards, of course you have to hit go. And then you pull up the souvenir cards for the show. Ones that are non-canceled, which is just the blank card. Tells you a little bit about the lighthouse. Or you can get one that is canceled. And you can actually purchase, this is the pictorial cancel, you could purchase all days of the show if you would prefer. Or just one, if just the day you were there. Again, here's a souvenir card from Stamp Show. Not canceled, just the card. And then here's the card canceled with the cancel. It was the APS 125th birthday, so we had a birthday celebration at that show. And if you're done shopping there, looking around, you can also go to some different areas. But we want to go back to 
the events and shows because we've been shopping for cards. So I'm going to go back to the right hand side under the events and shows tab, go to the second one down and click here. Go back under stamp show because I've been shopping and we were just at souvenir cards, which is all the way down here. Now, of course, stamp show 2013 is our show that's coming up in August. You can also click and see about Ameristamp Expo, which would be in 2014. We are currently working on getting exhibit information out there for that, and the show is in Little Rock, Arkansas. The show is past winter shows currently right now because there's nothing out there for the show as we are working on that. The past shows for the winter 1958 was in Cleveland, Ohio. That was the very first one. Of course, all the way through to Louisville, Kentucky in 2013. So from here, we also, because this is the events and shows area, we were primarily focused on the shows. But what's nice about this section is you can also see other topics. We have here educational events. Under this tab as well. You can look at those. Some of these are held at the show. For instance, at our stamp show. Prior to the show, the 6th through the 7th, Computers and Collecting. It's on the road course. It's taught by Barb Bull, our editor of the American Philatelist. It shows you the cost for an APS member and a non-APS member. Your contact for this is Gretchen Moody if you have questions. And of course, you can get to it from the website as well. So we do some cross-referencing of things that are, that are happening at the show as well. We can go back a few tabs here on the left. Other things that happen at the APS, Volunteer Work Week. You can sign up for Volunteer Work Week. This tells you about Volunteer Work Week this year. It's July 22nd to the 26th, 2013. Talks about different areas you can volunteer. Of course, the shows department is on this as well. We prepare badges for the show at that time because our show is August 8th. Um, we assist with sign preparation for the show in advance. These are some of the things we do. We assemble the notebooks and for banquet programs. We also could potentially be in, engraving some medals and things. So that's another way to volunteer at the APS if you can't come to the show, but you're available to do that. Underneath the events and shows tab, we also have national um, WSP shows listed. That's helpful. Here, of course, they're in alphabetical order, and they're also the shows are also listed off to the side as well. Westpex just recently happened, so if you click off to the side, you'll see Westpex information. And of course, the um, date was last weekend, so now the next date for the show is April 25th to the 27th find out information there. You can contact someone at the show, um, Mr. Jarvis, go to their website. You can see their palmares posted. This is a handy tool if you're looking in your area for stamp shows. It's a long list. Of course, I'm going in reverse order now, but it's a long list in alphabetical order of the shows. which is great, um, helps you find different, you know, different areas. If you want to, if you're going to be somewhere and you want to pop in at a stamp show, you can just look here and see if, see if they're available and they're having a show. International shows as well. We have a listing for that. Look up them specifically. Australia is coming up. So they're listed on here. Through 2013 and then of course we have the international uh, world stamp show new york 2016 listed as well we have exhibit winners 
all our exhibit winners are listed out here. National WSP shows, champion of champion winners. So we can go to the national shows. You can see at each show what's happening there. Go back one here. Our champion and champions. You can see the champion and champion. Gordon Eubanks from the 2012 show. And here's the list, 2012, 2011, the whole way down through. So if you want to see who's won, there's a listing there. Back. You also can get them here, but as you see, you can get them as well on the left-hand side. Qualifying CFC as well. Judges and judging, if you're an exhibitor, or want to be an exhibitor, you can do different things here. You can actually search your judges. You can search your judges by zip code. You can search them um, by last name. Um, let's see if I can. Let's do Martin. Search. And we'll come up with this information. Ken Martin, our executive director, is a philatelic chief judge. He's listed the match factory, his daytime phone, his cell phone, a fax number, and his email address if you'd like to contact him. His specialties are listed here as well. So if you have a particular judge that you know that you want to look up some information on, ask him some questions, you have that information at your fingertips. There's also under this tab for judges and judging how to become a judge. It tells you what you need to do to become a judge. Philatelic judges, it gives you PDF files that you can click, click on. And this is a guide to participating in the APS Judge Apprenticeship. There's a table of contents. It's six pages. And it flows right through. So if you're interested in becoming a judge, you can look up some of these items here, as well as a literature judge or chief judge. We also have a manual and score sheet available as well for the exhibitors. This helps them exhibit evaluation forms. You can look on here to see how you're going to be evaluated, the youth, the literature as well, and then the manual. The manual was updated last, 9-26-2012. It's very long. We won't open that, but we'll go up here and we'll click on the youth form. This gives you an idea of the score sheet. You can blow that up a little bit. The age. What the judges fill out, the judging criteria, and such. All at your fingertips. And then show participation form is also under here. Shows you those, info, those sheets that you would need to look at. Rules of philately, series philately, jury registration forms, all of those things. So, let's recap. Under the Events and Shows tab, if you enter the second one down, APS Sponsored Events, you'll see Stamp Show first, and then Amer Stamp Expo for 2014 in Little Rock second. Of course, the other sponsored events, the Symposium in 2014 with the Airmail Society, jointly the Educational Events, 2014 Stamp Cruise, and Volunteer Work Week. But just remember, on the left-hand side, you'll have your shows, Stamp Show, Mayor Stamp Expo, Educational Events, Postal History Symposium, Stamp Cruise, Volunteer Work Week, which is all listed here in the center as well, where you can click there. And don't forget, you can get to your national WSP shows to see what's happening around the United States. You can also look at your international you can look at exhibition winners. 
if you're interested in becoming a judge or, or uh, um, exhibiting, you can look here, find out information there, and also look up judges and any show prep forms. And that concludes our session, and I thank you very much and hope everybody has a fabulous day.